all of you in the precious name of Jesus Christ and it's such a joy to be with all of you once again and as a doctor i would like to tell all our dear brothers and sisters please do not take you being safe today healthy and being alive today for granted because in spite of many people around us losing their lives we are all still alive why it's because and because only that lord has a purpose in each of our lives and it is grace and mercy that we are alive today and so today our prayer should be lord fulfill your purpose in our lives and help our light to shine before men so that they may see our good deeds and glorify you in heaven for today's devotion i wanted to share uh, something what lord has been teaching me these days and it's about home home sweet home so let's read proverbs 24 3 4 together It says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches now by this verse we all know that it's with wisdom that the house is built so if anyone is in the process of buying a new house or constructing a new house please pray that the builder will have divine wisdom to build uh build it because we all know right psalms 127 one says unless the lord builds the house they labor in vain who build it now we are concentrating today on the next part of uh, proverbs 24 3 that says it's with understanding that a house is established that means um you know the house when uh, it is constructed with divine wisdom only the bricks and the cement only the outer part is formed and you know it is uh, the house is made but it becomes a home when a family starts staying together in the house and the family with their understanding they establish their home now when we say home what are the things that come into our mind it's a place where we stay as a family together it's a place of safety security peace comfort rest in other words um, a home is a place where a husband wife Uh, children grandparents all stay together with love and trust for one another 
we never allow strangers to stay with us some random people from the road or people we do we do not know we don't even allow them even to enter our houses we allow guests to come home but we will be having some knowledge about them right now why don't we allow strangers uh to come into our homes uh because uh, you know we do not know their intentions people whom we do not know we do not allow them because uh in the physical realm what can happen they can steal they can hurt us they can murder they can kill us but this is all in the physical realm where we can see but what about in the spiritual realm where we cannot see if in the physical realm where we can see we are so careful what about in the spiritual realm where we cannot see unknowingly and knowingly we invite many unwanted things into our homes which are very dangerous at least in the physical realm we can see the danger with our eyes so you know we can prevent them from entering our house it's not only strangers also including heavy rain strong wind immediately we close our doors and windows so that we are safe at home but what about the spiritual forces of wickedness that enter our uh, homes which we cannot see with our eyes we can see these spiritual forces only when we pray and ask holy spirit to open our uh, spiritual eyes to see these dangers come into our homes we need to pray and rebuke such spirits that can enter our homes we need to cover every member in our homes with the blood of yeshua now in the physical realm even if there is a small leak or crack in the wall we immediately repair it right but what about when spiritual forces of wickedness you know they start emerging in our homes do we pray every day and cleanse each and every one in our homes with the blood of yeshua on daily basis now prayer being in the presence of god reading the word is not done uh, once a week or a month or when we have mood or you know uh, one sunday when a pastor is preaching the sermon not that i'm talking about prayer uh individual lives uh, individual members in the family and also family press we have to do it on daily basis now we are all very familiar with the verse uh, ephesians 6:12 we have been repeatedly hearing uh, this ephesians 6:12 and by now we should be all even you know by hearting it can we all take ephesians 6:12 it says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the powers against principalities against the darkness uh, against the rulers of darkness of this age against the spiritual forces of wickedness in our heavenly places so it is against the spiritual forces of wickedness that can enter our homes that we have to fight against it is we are not uh, wrestling against the flesh and blood that's what it says right yeah so for that uh, to know what are the spiritual forces of wickedness that can enter our homes can we read galatians 5 19 20 and 21 so it's a long verse that says now the works of the flesh are evident which are adultery fornication uncleanness lewdness idolatry sorcery hatred contentions jealousies outbursts of wrath selfish ambitions dissensions uh here sees envy murders drunkenness revelries and the like of which i tell you beforehand just as i also told you in the time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god now um we cannot just simply just read this and say yes uh, we don't uh, practice any of these it is not for us it's for somebody else no we need to sit uh slowly and meditate this verse we when we sit slowly and meditate this verse what happens we realize that some of these spirits can enter our homes too now uh, let me just explain a f- like you know this with a few examples now whatever i am saying is they are all uh, uh true testimonies and uh, you know what i have heard and uh, what i have experienced in my life so let me start uh, with a mother who once uh, she told me uh she's from a church and she once told me that she noticed that in between when she checks her first standard son's uh, uniform these are a few this is uh, this is like a few years back this is what uh, she told me so a few years back when her son was in first standard um in from her son's uniform when she used to put it for wash she used to find extra sharpness in his pant pocket 
like two or three times she didn't give uh, importance to it thinking um, unknowingly it has come but later when she saw that he's repeatedly doing the same thing the sharpener numbers were also increasing like you know four to five in number she prayed and she talked to her son with divine wisdom now we all know that children of this age should be handled with so much of divine wisdom we need to pray and talk to our children you know when we talk such sensitive things because we need to tell them uh, the right thing and at the same time not hurt them so her son told uh, so when she asked her son uh, very with so much of love and you know with divine wisdom she talked to him and she, she her son started telling her that during break time whenever he goes to play uh, when he sees a sharpener on the floor he just picks it and puts it in his pocket now we know that children uh, they are all innocent at this age but at the same time we need to make them understand that it is wrong to take something which is not ours it is nothing but a spirit of theft but because this mother was a woman of prayer lord opened her spiritual eyes to see that spiritual force of wickedness in our home now this mother could have left the matter thinking that the child is small uh, you know but what happens when we don't correct our children when they are small when they grow up as they grow up even this evil spirit you know which is in them the, the spirit uh, which spiritual force of wickedness also start growing with them it may start with sharpness but then you know it may end up in bigger thefts but this woman of uh, prayer she corrected her child with love and uh, uh, corrected her child with love that's very important and told him next time you see sharpness on the floor since it is not ours leave it in the lost and found box or give it to the teacher and thereafter he has never done that so you know uh, many times you know we ourselves teach our children to tell lies how you know uh, sometimes we are there at home phone rings uh, i've seen families do this we don't want to speak to that person so what do we tell our children you take the phone and tell we are not at home so these are all emerging spiritual forces of wickedness in our homes which we need to cleanse it right there you know by prayer and asking holy spirit to cleanse it out all this may sound small you know but they are really very dangerous one verse uh, which really shocked me was 1 samuel 3:13 we all know that uh, instance where uh, god speaks to uh, samuel and says that for i have told him that means god had told eli what did god tell eli that i will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knows because his sons made themselves vile and he did not restrain them so you know with this verse we clearly know that your god uh, is telling that eli knew that his children were sinning but as a father uh, he didn't discipline them you know when we sit back and think how many times have we not disciplined our children thinking you know that uh, they'll feel hurt or maybe we should not hit them with the rod but you know uh, there's a verse that says uh, you spare the rod you spoil the child you are allowing the child's soul to go into sheol when you don't correct you correct your child you discipline your child at the same time love your child so we know that eli because he didn't discipline his children he had to face the consequences now these are all spiritual forces of wickedness when they come itself we have to pray you know as a family together and remove all this from our houses nowadays our children are having all online classes along with their classes they are exposed to online games youtube videos and as parents it's our responsibility to keep a check you know on our children don't be too busy with your work uh, you know earning money can be done but as parents we should pray and ask lord to show us if there is any spiritual force of wickedness entering our homes through any of our family member member especially through media as parents we should know what our children are exposed to and pray and rebuke such spirits you know there uh, and then there are many husbands and wives they have passwords on their phones which they don't share with each other why you know there is where we have to check uh, see you now passwords can be there i'm not saying we should not keep passwords that is we keep passwords for the phone so that outside world you know we keep the phones safe from them but not in a house where you know husband and wife keep passwords from each other when when there is a password on the phone we don't want the husband or wife to check the phone check for the spirit of sexual immorality emerging into our houses chatting unnecessarily with opposite sex at wrong times for professional purpose it's fine but you know unnecessarily we all know what is right what is wrong but you know that spirit of wickedness when left unchecked can destroy our homes
so leave your phones you come back from work keep it on the dining table just leave it there and then spend time with each other spirit of slandering gossiping about others you know when you sit as a family together you tend to talk about neighbors maybe you know they you talk good about them uh, uh, talking good about them learning nice things from them is fine but you know trying to put them down talking gossiping about them or you know coveting their things like you know oh, they've got a mercedes they bought one mercedes we should buy something better than them you know better car than them better house than them that's not the things to be discussed uh, when you're sitting as a family together what are the things deuteronomy it says no in six you know you talk to your children about god you know spend uh, quality time with them asking them uh, bible quizzes can be done just randomly maybe you would have read something so just ask something from from that then they'll go and check they'll ask you something so this is how you spend as a family quality time together at home you know spirit of anger can come unknowingly into homes uh, this has happened to me so that's what i am saying uh, i want to tell my testimony so after stressful work in the hospital when i come home and i see we are blessed with two sons so i see them fighting on something and immediately you know uh, without even asking them i just start shouting at them and later i realize that i have overreacted my husband uh, has corrected me many times on this he tells me don't bring your work stress home and that's when i realize. realized uh, my mistake so so now what do i do i listen to messages i listen to praise songs speak in tongues while i drive home from work so it helps me to you know ease out uh, before i reach home so now i try my level best not to bring that spirit of uh, wrath that uh, spirit of dissension uh, or irritation you know to come home that's there in galatians 5 19 20 20 21 that spirit now what i said so far are uh, only a very few spiritual forces of wickedness now if we sit and meditate on these verses there are many other verses uh, which will talk to us and pray and ask lord to reveal to us the spiritual forces of wickedness in our homes and if we confess as a family all our family's iniquities he is just and faithful to cleanse all our unrighteousness maybe you know one thing that uh, uh, we have practiced uh, we practice at home is you know when we sit as a family we all say you know some things we shouldn't have done but you know we did it by mistake maybe you know get, get irritated or you know shout back uh, at our parents you know small small things so when our children will open up and then we all sit and confess our sins and pray and say that we do not want to repeat it so have family prayers daily in our homes if possible hold hands and pray and prophesy bible verses loudly into our homes let every you know brick and uh, every small uh, uh you know the walls every uh, thing you know in a house uh, should hear those bible verses so we it's good that you know we can keep uh, speaking out our bible verses loudly into our homes prophesy them pray and rebuke every evil spirit spirit emerging you know into our homes holy spirit will surely open our spiritual eyes to see this we together pray that every spirit of darkness will our will leave our homes we pray it in faith yeah and lastly proverbs 24 uh, 4 says it's with knowledge that the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches now before we buy things for home please pray as a family and then take decisions uh, i'm telling you this from our mistakes uh, we have you know impulsively gone bought things but then later realized oh we shouldn't have got then we realized that oh we didn't uh, pray and take a decision all this life teaches us right yeah so jesus will give us the discernment of what is right and wrong uh, when we pray also i have heard our uh, pastors tell us you know be very careful when we buy show pieces uh, when we go on trips some of them have got significances in spiritual realm which we cannot understand with human understanding we need to have divine wisdom we need to have gift of holy spirit of discernment to know what is right and what is wrong um now uh, just uh, just stop with two more verses uh, i when i read zechariah's vision in zechariah 5 1 2 3 4 verses I mean, just let's uh, read it, read that together yeah so it says that then i turned and raised my eyes uh, and saw there is a flying scroll and he said to me what do you see so i answered i see a flying scroll its length is 20 cubits and its width 10 cubits then he said to me this is the curse that goes out over the face of the whole earth every thief shall be expelled according to this side of the scroll and every perjurer shall be 
expelled according to that side of it i will send out the curse says the lord of hosts it shall enter the house of the thief and the house of the one who swears falsely by my name it shall remain in the midst of his house and consume it with its timber and stones you know i realized how much we should cry pray repent for knowingly or unknowingly allow spiritual forces of wickedness in our homes you know that flying scroll in the verse represents god's curse on the houses of wicked people my dear brothers and sisters how much should we you know pray and uh, cleanse our homes daily let me conclude with proverbs 333 which says the curse of the lord is on the house of the wicked if it is possible write down this verse and stick it on you know on your uh, cupboard or where you can see the curse of the lord is on the house of the wicked but he blesses he blesses the home of the just so let's pray and ask our lord today to fill us with wisdom understanding and knowledge to build christian homes a home which pleases our lord jesus christ have a blessed day in jesus christ thank you